Place your bets, you jack wagons. Brad, the big noise heavens here on a solo mission. Tis indeed another edition of the Feed 5 Podcast. So go ahead and not waste any time and hop aboard the Honk Honk Plus Plus. What is my favorite wager on this hashtag uh, taco or maybe even hashtag tequila Tuesday? Wonderful pairing at plus one odds or greater at the various sports books. It is looking into the immediate future on the Denver Nuggets to win this series against the Minnesota Timberwolves in six or seven games. Yeah, variety is the spice of life. You want to bet this uh, as Denver on the money line. It's minus 165 right now with DraftKings. But if you take the extra step and you get down to the brass tacks and say exactly how this series is going to shake out, uh, Denver taking it in six, meaning they win four consecutive in this series. Of course, next couple of games at Ball Arena, or it goes the max to seven. Look at that plus money. Oh, yeah, get seduced by that juice available there on the board. Extreme value, in my estimation, six games to plus 230, plus 275, for seven games. So screw Denver on the money line to take this series. Uh, the wise wager is in six or seven. And if you want to sprinkle the exact same unit amount on either one of these plus money offerings, you're still going to profit in the end. So this is a bit of a cheat code of sorts. Uh, if you're looking uh, you know, at all the various options that are available and dissecting the exact outcome of this series, and I think the Nuggets are going to take it. They clearly have regained the upper hand. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champs are here. They are so back uh, playing outstanding defensively. Aaron Gordon's been unbelievable here last couple of games. Nikola Jokic, of course, doing what he always does. And Jamal Murray, whether it's with half-court heaves at the first half buzzer or uh, dishing out the dimes, has really elevated his game. So I think the Nuggets are going to march on in the NBA playoffs in six or seven Plus money you see there on the board. With that, bet on the board. Let's get after it with another edition of the Fade Five. All right, Numero Cinco here on the countdown today. Let's go to the world of Major League Baseball. Always tracking my picks. Always free. Always transparent at the gaming juice.com and one of my plays today is Juan Soto of the Bronx Bombers over one and a half total bags in Minnesota A eh? at a minus 110 juice available there at BetMGM. Usually this is a prop that you find in low minus odds range but uh, it's understandable why it's at a minus 110 juice because it's all about the pitching matchup in the history. He's going against Chris Paddock of the Twinkies against Paddock. He's only facing three times but he's logged a pair of hits, and both of those hits had gone for round trippers. Now, he's going to touch them all. If you want to bet on him hitting another homer off the paddock, it's plus 360 at BetMGM. Uh, but again, I think the lower-hanging fruit here was on the over on one-and-a-half total bases. Uh, you look at the ISO mark at 226. He's got nine homers in 42 games. Uh, he's a guy consistently who has gone over this prop he has done it five times here in the month of May. And knowing that Paddock has given up a 41.3% hard hit percentage, split a gap, uh, get a couple of singles, and take one yard. I don't care, one. Just collect a couple of total bags so we can collect a bag of cash. Again, minus 110 odds there at BetMGM. Numero Quattro here on the Fade 5 Tuesday edition. Uh, let's go to Sasquatch land up there in the great Northwest. And Logan Gilbert of the Seattle Mariners uh, giving the over on 17 and a half outs. Uh, take it on the Kansas City Royals. And actually, that is a correction. I'm going to make it here on the fly. It's not 17 and a half outs. It is indeed 18 and a half outs. That's why the juice is so significant there at a plus 145. Yeah, I'll work the shoulders again and get seduced by that juice there at Bet MGM. You look at Gilbert, a uh, guy that got rocked the last time he took the mound uh, for the M's, but I think he's going to be able to right this ship against uh, Kansas City tonight. And, and the reason being is this Kansas City, okay, middling. 
Number 18, awaited runs created. Nothing really to scoff at there over the last couple of weeks. But the key to this bet is the fact that Kansas City has one of the lowest strikeout rates and one of the lowest base on balls percentages in all of Major League Baseball. What does that mean? A suppressed pitch count, which means Gilbert can hopefully work deep into this game. All we need is six and a third for him to cash, which he has actually done in six of nine. Nice. Uh, matchups this season uh, and in this rotation turn, I think it's going to you know, be that yet again. So coming off that clunker, that sinker he had the last time out, he's at home uh, where he has a, a tremendous track record uh, You know, going back to last year and well into this year so far. And again, keeping that pitch count down not issuing a ton of free passes, not really striking out a ton of guys, I think is going to benefit him in the end. He could go seven strong tonight and obliterate the over on 18 and a half outs. All we need him to go is six and a third, and we cash in at a plus 145 juice hells to the yeah at BetMGM. Next up, numero tres here on the feed. Five countdown with the best uh, pitcher names in all of baseball. Dylan Cease. Uh, and he is going to reduce the heart rate, the opposition, and the competition tonight. I say he records the dub at a minus 120 juice there at DraftKings. Who is he taking on? Well, um, it's the Pebbles of Colorado who always get pulverized. Now, uh, you know, let's give credit where credit is due. Colorado did win. In game one of this series on the road, only their fourth victory away from Denver this season. They're four and 16 in away matchups overall. Uh, but now they're going to get Cease, who has been dealing uh, quite the ace here of late. You look at Colorado, too, uh, still very subpar, well below average offensively. Here's the evidence to back it up. Number 29 in WRC Plus here the last couple of weeks. San Diego at home this season, number 13 in WRC Plus. Now, the former Padre, Cal Quantrill, is going to be taking the ball, who's been decent, uh, sub-4 ERA, for Colorado this season, but San Diego at home usually puts up a ton of runs. They put up four last night in the loss. Uh, they scored that uh, exact amount or more tonight. May only need a couple. I think Dylan Cease is going to slam the door and take care of business elsewhere. Cease has won five of his last six starts. He's got a 2.04 ERA in his last seven starts. And again, given the shortcomings of the Rockies offensively, Dylan Cease to record the dub at a minus 120 juice at DraftKings. I'm in, baby. You know what I'm also in on? What's on my shirt right here at the gamingjuice.com. Click converse and cash. Maybe all my content lives there absolutely free. All my awesome colleagues as well contributing their two cents from a sports betting perspective. We're covering the spectrum of sports. We got NBA content. We got MLB daily content. Uh, we got some hockey daily content. The Stanley Cup playoffs going on right now. We're going to have some uh, content on the Preakness uh, in horse racing. The golf major, the PGA championship that is coming up. Of course, NFL stuff. I'm already cranking out fantasy rankings. Team previews of player props. Team leans as well. The over under team total wins. A fantasy value play as well. The Jets are dropping today. So read all about the conspiracy theories of Aaron Rodgers and company there. Get it all absolutely free and please sign up for a free account right now at thegamingjuice.com. Numero dos here on the feed. Five countdown. Let's go to the NBA playoffs uh, where I am ice freaking cold. I am pathetic. Uh, I'm down 10 units if you've been tracking my progress at thegamingjuice.com on some of the picks I've been tossing out there. It doesn't matter what I'm playing. It could be on the standard line. could be an SGP. Uh, could be on over under on a player prop. Uh, I'm just frigid. I can't win a stinking one of these wagers, so take this with an entire mine of salt. But on this SGP, uh, maybe come with me. 
uh, three-legger in the Nuggets and T-Wolves series. Uh, of course, going back to Denver at Ball Arena. Uh, Lake numero uno, give me Denver on the money line. Lake numero dos, give me Nicole Jokic, 25 or more points. And leg numero trace, I say Anthony Edwards also scores at least 25. You put those three legs together, hopefully one will not fail. You're looking at a plus 165. Five. Oh, very seducing juice there at BetMGM. Why do I like uh, this uh, overall SGP? Well, again, I think Denver has the upper hand. I talked about the top of the broadcast today. Uh, again, I love them to win the series in six or seven games. I know they uh, were 0-2 against the T-Wolves uh, at Ball Arena. Uh, but Denver has, uh, you know, really amplified the defense. Uh, and Jamal Murray has arrived again. And they're getting all that uh, additional support outside of Jokic and Jamal Murray, whether it's MPJ in one game, Aaron Gordon in a game, Justin Holiday hit some big shots. KCP was draining some long distance bombs of his own. Uh, they have been quite the collective here and we're getting a foothold uh, as uh, they deadlock this series on the road in enemy territory there uh, at the target center. I think it's going to be more of the same at Ball Arena. And uh, they're going to go up three to two. So give me Denver there on the money line. And meanwhile, with Jokic at uh, 25 or more points, he's averaging 26.8 points per game in this series. Uh, he's gone over in six of nine playoff contests this year. And in the regular season, he was over this uh, routinely. And he was annihilating the number needed against the Minnesota Timberwolves. So it could be a 30 spot, could be 35. All eight is 25. I think Gilgic will get his tonight. And the same goes for Anthony Edwards, uh, who's really donned a Superman cape uh, for this Minnesota Timberwolves team, a guy that's been virtually uncontainable, unstoppable. Uh, you know, I think Denver is going to be more focused on trying to mitigate the secondary and tertiary scores on this team. Cat, for example, maybe Rudy Gobert, aww, maybe not a whole lot of aww as a result. So I think Edwards is going to just get his and go off. He's averaging 33.3 points per game in this series. He's been over in six of eight playoff games uh, this season. And also getting back to this series specifically, he's jacking 21 and a half attempts per game, and he's deading over 60% fiery fingers from Anthony Edwards. I think it's going to be more of the same. So to recap, to recap, numero dos here on the Fade 5 Countdown, SGP, Nuggets, money line, Jokic, 25 more points, Anthony Edwards, 25 or more points, plus 165, juicy baby. At BetMGM. Numero uno, my top play on this Tuesday edition of the Fade 5 podcast. I say the NBA playoffs. I say the Indiana Pacers rev the engine and go over their team total of 107 and a half at a minus 115 juice there at BetMGM. Just stay consistent, Indiana. That's all I'm asking. This is what the Pacers have done in this series against the Knicks. 117, 121, 111, 121. Last checked, Uno, Dos, Trace, and Cuatro Mimigos, they've been over comfortably in all four games in this series. Why? They like to push the pace. Uh, the Indianapolis 500 right down the street there in Indy, and they look like an Indy car right now. A team that loves to play up and down the floor. Zip, 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 zip. I think it's going to be more of the same for Tyrese, Halliburton, and friends. Uh, you look at the Knicks, they are wounded. Uh, you know, universally, this seems just not healthy. And as a result, uh, because Tibbs is just wearing guys down, uh, they're not, you know, amplifying their game defensively. In this NBA postseason, the Knicks had the second worst points per possession allowed at one. 0.198. So what should be a high possession affair? Uh, the fact that everything seems to be clicking for Indiana right now. The fight Reggie Millers, I think, exceed the over on 107 and a half team total points at a minus 115 juice at Bet MGM. But wait, there's more. My team White most parlay play of the day. Let's go back to the diamond and let's go to the Motor City. Vroom, vroom, and rev the engine. 
on this three-legger. Uh, give me the Tigers on the money line. Uh, leg numero uno. Give me Reese Olsen. Leg numero dos to walk. Ah, man. I just need one. And leg numero tres. And I misspelled his name here. If you're watching the YouTube version of the show, let me autocorrect here in real time. Andy Ibanez. I say he slaps a hit. I uh, put those hands together. Plus 140 available at DraftKings Sportsbook. You look at Detroit. Uh, they're number 12 in weighted runs created. Pretty damn good over the last couple of weeks. Uh, they came back and won. Uh, the first game in this series. And, of course, uh, they are taking on uh, a team uh, in which they should have, uh, you know, reasonable odds of beating in Miami Marlins, who've been largely miserable this season. Though, I give credit where credit is due. Uh, the Marlins are number 15 in WRC Plus the last couple of weeks. But Reese Olsen has been kind of dealing here at home. Uh, a guy uh, that's got a 1.35 home ERA on the season. So, uh, could limit uh, some of the blows uh, inflicted by Miami offensively in this game. Hopefully, the Tigers will give him the run support and stay hot at the dish. And if that is the case, um, and it should be against Ryan Weathers, they will get the win. Speaking of Olsen, uh, I think he does issue at least a walk. He has done this in all seven starts this season, 3.43 walks per nine. Now, uh, understandably and transparently, Miami, high contact team, they don't really draw a whole lot of base on balls. They're number 26 the last couple of weeks in walks percentage, earned that free pass just 19.7% of their plate appearances. But all I need is one. And again, Olsen has done this in every single start this year. Leg numero tres, Andy Ibanez uh, getting that hit. Uh, I think uh, this is looking damn good. Uh, the matchup is absolutely scintillating. He's going against a left-handed pitcher. And against Sal Paul's this season, he is 12 for 27. That's a 444 batting average with a 1,118 OPS. He's running a five-game hit streak. Uh, and Weathers this year is giving up a 270 batting average against uh, to right-handed hitters. And he's got a very low strikeout-to-walk split on the season, just 1.60 in that category. So he hangs one in the zone. Ibanez is going to slap a laser the outfield, hopefully and cash in on that third leg. So my team, Huevos, parlay play on this Tuesday. Detroit, Moneyline, Olsen, I walk, and Andy Ibanez, I hit plus 140 at DraftKings Sportsbook. But we got additional action in bonus time. Uh, Chris Sale, give me the over on six and a half strikeouts against my Chicago Cubs. Uh, Sale, uh, I think he's going to get this at a plus 100, so even juice on this prop. The Cubs, uh, middle of the road, number 15 in strikeout percentage for the last couple of weeks, uh, punching out 22.4% of their plate appearances, but that mark is higher. They're inside the top 10 against left handed pitcher sale a 10.97 K per nine in the season. Uh, he's got a 10.30. So quite consistent number in that category at home. And one of the best call plus swinging strike rates in all of the big leagues at 34.2%. And he has done this in five of seven starts. So sale over six and a half K's against the Cubs on a plus 100 juice. I'm digging that. Uh, staying in the pitcher market, I'm going to live in the land down under on Carlos Rodon outs. And that number is sitting at 16 and a half at a minus 105 juice at BetMGM. On the road, over 23 and two-thirds innings pitch this season, he's got a disgusting 4.94 ERA and has gone under 16 and a half outs in three of four starts. Uh, you look at uh, Minnesota, a team that's uh, really – uh, revved up their offense, number eight in WRC plus the last couple of weeks, respectable number 13, that category at home. And getting back to Rodon and what he has done on the road, he's given up a 355 on base percentage away from Yankee Stadium while posting to a subpar 3.80 walks per nine mark. So the free passes, the fact he's gotten slapped around, uh, you know, that uh, can really take a toll on your ERA and limit you uh, in terms of how deep you're going to get in the game because you're piling up the pitches as a result. I'm going to ride the hot hand with the Minnesota Twins here. Give me the under on Carlos Rodon, 16 and a half outs 
at a minus 105 juice. All right. I am out of breath and I am out of time. I got television to do. Uh, do me a favor, would you kindly, and watch live and line coming up on Stadium Sports. Download the app right now, wherever you get your apps, whether you got uh, one of these beautiful iPhones or a Droid. Uh, we're on every Monday through Friday, uh, starting at noon Eastern time on Stadium and the Bally Sports RSNs. Might have a special guest on the show today, so you want to tune in for that. Also, drop us a rating and a review. Uh, at your convenience, would you kindly? And fade to follow us on the X. We're always trying to give it to you. Myself at Noisy Huevos and Lundy at Nate Lundy. The good sir will rejoin me for the Friday edition of the Fade 5 podcast. Go to the gamingjuice.com right now, you jack wagons, and check out all of our awesome content there. And until next time, as always, feed or follow that is up to you.